Hello friends, welcome to the today's session. Myself, Saita Patil, Assistant Professor, Comedy in College, Hamdapur. In my previous class, we have discussed regarding the therotic aspects of the capital gains, that is the meaning and definition, short term capital gain, long term capital gain, etc. We know things we have discussed. Okay. In my today's class, we shall see how the five marks problem will be solved on the index to cost of acquisition. Contents of the today's session, that is, in my today's class, we shall see that is the meaning of cost of acquisition, formula for calculation of indexation, formula for calculation of index to cost of acquisition, problems from previous question papers. These are the various things, important things that we shall discuss in my today's class. Meaning of cost of indexation. In case of computation of long term capital gain, the reduction can be claimed for the cost of acquisition and cost of improvement after indexing them. The principle of indexation has been introduced from the assessment year 1993-94. Means what year? After computation or for the computation of long term capital gain, the deduction will be uh, the deduction can be claimed. That is the for the cost of acquisition and the cost of improvement. Okay. Now let us see what is the meaning of indexed cost of acquisition. Indexed cost of acquisition means which bears to the cost of acquisition. The same proportion at the cost inflation index for the year in which the asset is transferred bears to the cost inflation index for the year in which it was purchased or 2001 or 2 whichever is later. This year, here first we have to understand that is what is the meaning of acquisition. Acquisition means for the purchase price. Okay, for uh, what is the rate of that is for which price the asset has been acquired, purchased. Okay, then. The cost of acquisition, the same proportion as inflation index here means what to claim the index to cost of acquisition and index to cost of improvement. That is, we, the, we have to calculate the in, uh, cost inflation index and that will be applied uh, from the year 2001 and 2. Okay, now let us see what is the formula for calculation of index to cost of acquisition. Calculation of adjust first, uh, for, before that we shall say. A calculation of adjusted cost of acquisition that is first we have to consider cost of acquisition or the fair market value as on 1 for 2001 in these two we have to consider whichever is high for example here see that is uh, if the if cost of acquisition is 3 lakh and the fa fair market value will be 5 lakh then in these three we have to consider whichever is high that is the fair market of 5 lakh we have to consider and if any advance uh, received and forfeited under section 51, then we have to deduct and after we get the adjusted cost of acquisition. In this way, first we have to understand how the adjusted cost of acquisition should be calculated for the calculation of the indexed cost of acquisition. Okay. That's why now index to cost of acquisition and model can be used. Now, what are we going to do? Adjusted cost of acquisition, na, how to model be done? Adjusted cost of acquisition, ke first now consider to model be done. What is the cost of acquisition? But the fair market value. We have to problem only put it. That is, we have to consider to model now. We have to only have to how much is that is we have to consider. Okay. And another advance issue, but first we have to deduct. That is, now we have to deduct. If we have to do the adjusted cost of acquisition, so first important that is we have to understand how the adjusted cost of acquisition should be calculated. Okay. Now, next, here the important formula that is the uh, calculation of index to cost of acquisition. Index to cost of acquisition plus adjusted cost if any it is given in the problem, then you have to add it and into uh, CII that is the cost inflation index of transfer year. Divided by cost inflation reduction of purchase year or 2001 to whichever is later. This is what the important formula for the calculation of index to cost of acquisition. Okay. Now, let us see what are the various important problems. That is, these are the problems we are discussing from the previous question papers. Okay. Which are asked for the previous examination that we shall discuss in my today's class. Okay. The first problem, this is asked for the GOZ BBM fifth sem that is 2009. Okay. Mr. Vivekanand sells stabulary on 1 1 2020 for his 84,040. Cost of stabulary to him in December 2007 was rupees 15,480. He paid brokerage on sale rupees 3,360. 
on february 2020 he purchased a residential house for rupees 40340 the cost inflation index of 2007-8 and 2019-20 were 129 and 289 uh, respectively find out the taxable capital gain for the assessment year 2020-21 this is what the simple problem which is given for the five marks now let us see how the index to cost of acquisition will be calculated for the same now computation of taxable capital gains of mr vivekanand this is the previous year this is assessment year first year the sale uh, sale price of the jewelry that is 84040 less cost brokerage on sale 3360 if we deduct we will get the net consideration 80680 now let us see index to cost of acquisition that is 15480 into 289 divided by 120 and in this way we have calculated the index cost of acquisition we will get the 34680 we'll deduct from this we'll get the ATC that is long term capital gain before exemption for the 6000 okay now less exemption under section 54 yep that is LTC into cost of new residential house divided by net consideration 46000 into 40000 340 divided by 80680 we get the 23000 under section 54f We get the if we deduct from this, we will get the twenty three thousand as the taxable long term capital gain. In this way, to calculate the LTCG. Okay, this uh, exemption we are, now we shall discuss in my the briefly. I will discuss in my next class how it should be calculated. Okay, next problem that is. Uh, this is uh, GOG become six semester two thousand nine and thirteen. For twice it is asked for the examination. Mr. Anand purchased a house in nineteen seventy eight for rupees two lakh fifty thousand, which was sold in December two thousand nineteen for rupees fifteen lakh sixty one thousand five hundred. Fair market value of the house on one four two thousand one was rupees three lakh fifty thousand. He purchased a new residential house on fifteen three two two thousand twenty four. Rupees three three lakh fifty thousand. This is what the given problem. Compute his taxable capital gain for the assessment year twenty twenty one. Cost inflation indices are one thousand two hundred and two thousand one two thousand nineteen twenty two eighty nine. This is what the problem given. Now let us see how it should be solved. First, we have to consider sale proceeds of the house fifteen lakh sixty one thousand five hundred. Now let's index the cost of acquisition. For this, we have to consider fair market value as one one four two thousand one is three lakh fifty thousand and purchase price is two lakh fifty thousand. In these two, we have to consider which of these side three lakh fifty thousand. So index the cost of acquisition is equal to three lakh fifty thousand into two eighty nine divided by hundred. We'll get the ten lakh eleven thousand five hundred. If we deduct from fifteen lakh sixty one thousand five hundred, we get the five lakh. Fifty thousand. That will be the LTCG before exemption. Now, less exemption under section fifty four. That is the purchase price of the residential house directly. They have given three lakh fifty thousand. We get we get the two lakh at the taxable LTCG. Okay. Next problem. Mr. Raghavendra sells jewelry on fifteenth August two thousand nineteen for rupees seven lakh thirty four thousand eight hundred. Cost of jewelry to him on twentieth May. 2007 was rupees 1 lakh 54800 and paid brokerage of sale rupees 2 lakh on december 16 2019 he purchased a residential house for rupees 3 lakh 57400 on july 19 he owns one residential house the cost inflation index for rupees 7 2007 8 and 1920 were 129 and 18 128 respectively compute taxable capital gain for the assessment year 2021 this is what the Given problem. Now let us see how it is solved. Sales proceeds of jewelry seven lakh thirty four thousand eight hundred. Less brokerage paid is twenty thousand. We we'll get the seven lakh fourteen thousand eight hundred. This is what the net sales consideration. Less index to cost of acquisition that is one lakh fifty four thousand eight hundred. This is what the purchase price into two eighty nine divided by one twenty nine. We we'll get the three lakh forty six thousand eight hundred. This is what the index to cost of acquisition. If we we'll deduct from this, we we'll get the Three lakh sixty-eight thousand. This is what the LTCG before exemption. Okay. Now, uh, less reduction under section fifty-four F. 
exemption under section 54 f is equal to lbcg into cost of new residential house divided by net consideration that is 368000 into 357400 divided by 7,14,800 will get the 1,84,000 okay in this way we have to calculate the problems huh? very easy my dear students i think you have understood my this class if you have understood my class please subscribe my channel thank you